you're all very welcome this is your girl maria i hope you're all well and today i want to share about a topic called for such a time as this yeah for such a time as this this mainly refers to the fact that um, we're all here on earth um to fulfill a particular purpose at a particular time yeah we were not born to just live and die but there's a purpose that God, you know, needs each and every one of us to accomplish in our different areas of uh, influence, yeah? So maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're a doctor, a teacher, a nurse, a business person. We all have different uh, purposes and assignments that uh, God has intended for us here on earth, yeah? So it's important for us to seek God so that he can reveal to us our purposes because once you find your purpose, uh, life is much more interesting. You're able to pursue it, you know, with excitement, you know, something that you're really, really passionate about. You wake up every morning and you're excited to do it and uh, you're able to touch um, those around you. You're able to change lives, you know. Yeah, so it could be your work, it could be a passion that you have, maybe it's an organization you've started, maybe it's an orphanage that you have that is helping the needy, um, helping um, the orphan children. So the, the, the different areas, you know, different roles and different spheres, you know, that each and every one of us can have... Uh, influence can be able to touch and change the lives of those around us yeah for this particular time in life yeah so i'm going to refer to the story of esther in the bible yeah the story of esther the book is called esther it's a, it's not so long it's a bit short if you could get time you look at her story yeah so the story of esther is mainly about um this orphan girl Esther was an orphan and uh, she was being raised by her uncle Mordecai yeah the uncle was called Mordecai and uh, at that point they had a beauty pageant where the king um, was looking for a queen yeah was looking for a queen um, initially the, the, the queen was Vashti but because she refused to obey the king's commands and all that they cast her out and so the king was looking for a new a new queen so they had this beauty pageant and uh, they let esther get into it and yeah so she was going to be a contestant they dressed her up and you know put her makeup on her and you know had her join you know the had her join the pageant and uh, so she gets in and um yeah with so many other girls of course and uh, interestingly this little orphan girl the moment she walked in you know it was her moment to get in there she got favor you know she got favor uh, in the side in the eyes of the king you know the king liked her like instantly yeah and uh, she got the favor she won the, the beauty pageant and she became the new queen you know everyone was excited the uncle Mordecai was excited and yeah so she was in she became the new queen she got a crown and was living what you'd call probably your dream life um, and uh, along the way you know things were not so good for the Jews yeah because Esther was a Jew and the, the uncle Mordecai but they kind of didn't didn't say it out a lot it was kind of you know it was kept between them yeah probably some people didn't even know so there was a man who was trying to destroy the Jews yeah the man was called Haman and was trying to destroy the Jews and Mordecai got to find out about it because Haman wanted to destroy Mordecai and the whole Jewish you know people you know so when Mordecai found out he went and talked to Esther you know and ask for you know people to because she could he couldn't enter inside 
but send someone to pass on the message to the king there. So Mordecai was able to reach to Esther and pass the message and, and told her, you know, you know what, um, the Jewish people, the, some enemy is trying to destroy the Jewish people. The Haman is trying to destroy the Jewish people and we need you to help us. We need you to help us. Maybe you talk to the king and, uh, you know, such that we are saved such that we're saved and uh, at that point the king was in the inner court and you couldn't just approach him unless you know he had called on you to go and approach him if you approached the king when he was in the inner court you could be destroyed you could be murdered so esther thought about it and was like the king is in the inner court how will i be able to approach him and, and, and tell him about this issue of concern and Mordecai passed on a message to Esther and told Esther maybe it's for such a time as this that you became the queen maybe you became the queen for at this particular point such that you could save the Jewish people that are tra that uh, Haman is trying to destroy you may think you're safe because you're you're, you're in a palace but when the Jew Jewish people are destroyed uh, you will not be an exception yeah you and your father's house will be destroyed. Maybe it's at this point that you need to help your people. It's at this time that uh, you are called to be queen so that you can save your people. Because if you do not, um, the, the, the Lord will bring salvation from another place. But you and your father's house will be destroyed. So Mordecai called on to Esther to do everything in her power as a queen to be able to save the Jews. So Esther got the message and uh, called for a fast, called for her maids and servants. They fasted for days and um, they prayed. They prayed to God and Esther said, much as the king is in the inner court, I'm going to go and approach him. I'm going to go and approach him. If I perish, let me perish. Yes. So after the prayer and fasting, Esther was able to go and approach the king and when the king saw her he allowed her to you know be able to address her issues what is it how can i help you and esther talked about someone who's trying to destroy her her people who someone's trying to destroy the jews and the king was so bad that he was so touched and he said who's this that wants to destroy my wife and, and her people so when the king heard that, he called for whoever was trying to destroy the wife and the people to be, um, to be jailed, you know, to be jailed. And that person was uh, destroyed. Instead of, instead of destroying the Jews, it was Haman, you know, that was jailed away, okay? So the Jews were able to be saved. And Esther was able to use um, her position and her power at that particular point at that particular time to be able to save the Jews yeah so all of us in our different areas of influence um, we are able to to do something you know to do something that uh, can touch you know the lives of those around us we're able to fulfill our purposes yeah maybe your teacher and you're, you're passing on knowledge to the younger generation maybe you're helping the orphans, maybe you're a doctor and you're treating people, um, you're, you're treating people, especially during this particular time where we're going through a pandemic, yeah? Maybe you're, you're a lawyer and you're helping people who are innocently imprisoned and you're helping them with their cases and, and they're freed from jails, yeah? Um, Maybe you're an accountant who's helping uh, different companies, you know, to arrange, you know, their finances, you know, and uh, file their taxes and, you know, do different roles. So all of us in our different, uh, different areas, we should be able to work with, uh, with excellence. We should be passionate. We should be diligent. And uh, we should be able to do the things that God has called us to do. We should be able to fulfill our purposes and uh, to, to bring um, change in our society, 
to make our sweaters better and uh, yeah so we should continue to seek God to find out what our purposes are what he has called us to do to find out you know the things that we're passionate about the things that we can do that you know can bring change in our community maybe you're living in a community that's full of criminals and you know you can reach out to those around you and you know address the issues talk to the youth um ask them to engage in you know activities that you know can help them earn income instead of just you know being idle and doing uh, things that are not helpful you know and maybe you can bring change in that particular community and maybe the rate of crime can reduce because um people are now being involved in more productive activities yeah maybe you're a teacher and you're teaching uh, children giving them knowledge um even in this pandemic i know there are teachers who are reaching out maybe in their communities and helping children that uh, um that are not because currently the schools are closed so they are still passing on knowledge to those around yeah so all of us are able to impact our societies in different ways and we are all called uh, for such a time as this to fulfill our purposes at this particular time so let us continue to seek god such that our purposes are re revealed and such that we can live um more meaningful and a more exciting life yeah so that's it for today thanks for listening god bless you